Hey, it's that time of year when teams are trying to get themselves better with free agent signings. But as we both well know, those signings don't always turn out positively for the team. Let's talk. About, look at the top five worst free agent signings in NFL history, according to this guy. How about David Boston heading to the Chargers? Seven years, $47 million in 2003. Yeah, it didn't work out as well as the Chargers. Today. No, it, it really didn't. First of all, the Chargers did not have a good season that year, and then the next year they actually made the playoffs. But the year that David Boston was there, you know, the thing with David Boston is he got too built. Uh, look at him. Just just look at the B-roll. Look at that guy. you think that'd be a good thing? Uh, yeah, he looked like a superhero's version of a superhero. I mean, <laughs> look at him. I mean... It's ridiculous. Looks like a anyway, he was not be able to. He, he couldn't stay totally healthy, and the problem for them is they paid him twelve million dollars guaranteed, and he just did not contribute to winning. And they thought that this was going to be a guy that could contribute to them for years to come because he was still a young player. Andre Risen only caught forty six percent of the passes thrown to him in a Cleveland Browns uniform, but really, it's not much of a surprise that. The Browns had a bad free agent signing. Right. And let me tell you, the gulf between David Boston and the rest of these guys, starting with Andre Risen, is large. I.e., the drop from five to four, this is where it gets really bad. You have to remember what was going on in Cleveland in 1995. They needed the Browns to have a great year. They're coming off a playoff season. They obviously announced they were moving later that year. Andre Risen uh, did not contribute. If anything, he contributed to losing, caused problems for the team and didn't get involved in the offense nearly enough, and Cleveland had a terrible 95 Are you season. winking at me with your left eye? I don't know, maybe something else. Anyway, Adam Archuleta, Washington Redskins, six years, $30 million. That didn't work out at number three. Well, here's the thing. You know, with, with Andre Risen, I mean, he had been a really good player in Atlanta. Adam Archuleta was a decent starter in St. Louis. With the Redskins, the guy only started seven games, got six years, $30 million. He started seven games. No interceptions. I mean, really, this was a series of bad moves by the Redskins, and this was kind of one of the last really bad ones. Staying in the division, the Eagles and Namdi Asamoah, they thought he would help out that ailing secondary, allowed a 92.4 opposing passer rating with him in the backfield. Yeah, Namdi was not a good signing. And by the way, we've got more from where the NFCs comes from, the Redskins. So we're, this is, this Double is great. Double it yeah, Washington. This is great. The Eagles, they thought they had a, basically assembled a dream team in 2011. And that, I think that's what Vince Young called it. And it didn't work out that way. This one was the most shocking to me. I had, I mean, Namdi Asimov had a lot of suitors. So we're going to give the Eagles a hard time. Remember, the Cowboys were hot after him. For some reason, his career just fell off, and that happens to some players. They're, not everybody can be Charles Woodson, but it did not work out for Philadelphia. Well, and so their system fits. There's all kinds of questions. That's why it is a uh, free agency, and you never know what you're going to get. That's exactly how the Redskins felt about it. They thought they were getting an amazing run-stopper guy who can clog up the middle and wreck havoc in the uh, backfields in Albert Hainsworth. That's not what they got. Yeah, this is why I let my voice trail off on Adam Archuleta, because I knew we were coming back here. Because I said he was almost the last bad signing. You know, oh. Albert Hainsworth, just a terrible signing in 2009 for the Redskins. The $100 million. This is this is the poster boy or poster child signing uh, for teams making bad free agent moves. Oh, he actually was friendly to a fan there. Yeah. He gave a high uh, five. Look, Albert Hainsworth hey. was great with the Titans. For whatever reason, he didn't really want to play in the Redskins system and in Literally, that is the poster child for every big contract signing. Don't think that we didn't hear some Albert Hainsworth mentions with the Indomitian Sioux signing in Miami. I think Indomitian Sioux is a lot better player. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the amount of money that they're paying to a defensive tackle, it's hard to not think back to somebody like Albert Hainsworth. Boy, uh, those free agent signings are tough to swallow if you're fans of those teams. Do you agree with what Elliot Harrison had to say? Hit him up at Harrison NFL, let him know. But uh, I think it's going to be hard to top number one, right? Yeah, it's, I don't think it's ever going to happen again. Yeah. How about that?